Welcome back to Mentality. Today's topic is the condom, to carry or not to carry. Let's get the views from the ladies. I think it's right because at least on Ajua, protection is needed and they are caring for their partners in case the partner doesn't have, they have backup. You know, it's um, if you want to live a long, prosperous life and accomplish your goals, then you should always protect yourself. In the studio, we are fortunate to have Kaz, an actor, musician, Karibu, to the show. Thank you. We'll jump right in. No pun. No pun. <laughs> <laughs> what are your views on a woman, first of all, a woman carrying a condom? Our country is very conservative, but only in theory. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> There's a lot that happens behind this theory, mm. the practicality of it. And I think women should carry condoms. I think people should be safe. I think both men and women should carry condoms. I okay. think we... I'm going to get personal now. Do you carry condoms? I do, actually. Do you have one on you? Maybe. Can we see it, please? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Isn't her yes enough? Don't, what is the make? What is we, the make, we, we still have time. Why are you moving so fast? <laughs> no, no. All right. Um, huh? <laughs> we just met. <laughs> why, why, do you carry, why do you carry condom? Well, okay. first of all, um, I've been listening to you guys talk, yeah, yeah. and I have my personal opinions. Right. Um, I'm a single girl. So I don't necessarily carry condoms just for myself, right. but there's a lot of women who are sexually active. There's a lot of my, the people that I hang out with, right. a lot of friends in my circle. If somebody is going home with somebody, then that's a like perfect a cigarette excuse. Yes, yes. They're not mine. Yes, yes. No, I didn't, I, say that. I didn't say they're not mine. I said they're not necessarily mine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's not, not like I'm having... You're not necessarily the one to use. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. I'm, I may be. Yeah. 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 I more than likely will be. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we're getting closer. We're getting closer to the but yes. But just in case I don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I have a girlfriend in need or a man friend in need, and he's like, he, like if my guy friend comes, like if I'm hanging with you, and yes. you're like, man, this chick, I'm going to beba her. Yes, yes. I'm like, dude, eh? yes. be safe. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Uh, let me ask you, if you were in a relationship yeah. and you were dating, would you do the same? And what do you think? Would I carry something? Yeah. yeah. No. There would be no point. If Whatever I'm, happens, if even if you're in a relationship, relationship with a man like no names mentioned, Quatch, yeah, yeah, yeah. would you ca carry condoms? I wouldn't, because I imagine in a relationship, there's only two places we could be having sex, yes. his house or mine. Right. So the condoms are either there or here. So uh -huh. you're trusting Quatch to be to faithful have, to you? Have, no, I did, you see, that has nothing to, nothing to do with being faithful. faithful. It has everything to do with him. Have it has points. everything to do with safety. Yes. He, he either has condoms at his house or I have condoms at mine. Right. All right, well, let me ask you. You know what I mean? Would you pack for quite some condoms if you're traveling? When he's traveling. And you're in a relationship. You know what? And you... Believe it or not, mm. I am that woman. <laughs> <laughs> you I would. would. Yeah, because... So you don't mind his cheating on you? It's not cheating. cheating. It's no, cheating he when he's cheating. Out there. If he's sleeping with somebody else, that's not cheating unless he's lying about it. Mm. Otherwise, it's not cheating. That means you can allow him to sleep with other women. It's not that I'm allowing him either. It's, mm. the, same, it's the same thing that you said about your daughter. Right. I don't condone it. But mm. if, he, if she's going to do it anyway, she mm. might as well be safe. Mm. It's the same thing with my partner. I don't condone him sleeping with other women. Yeah. But if he's going to do it, then mm. he might as well be safe. So don't you think that's a pointer to a deeper problem <clears throat> in your relationship? You don't like him to Good sleep luck with other people? <laughs> but... <laughs> <laughs> you don't like Ask him to sleep ass. with other people. That's what you're saying. Mm -hmm. uh, but you, you sort of expect it. I, you're sort of giving I, him I license use to... I would large words like expect. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> because I have no expectation. To me, I actually what, expect yes, him so. not to sleep with anyone else. That, yeah. That's the only... Actually, I lie. Mm -hmm. I have no expectations whatsoever. Oh, really? But yeah, yes. That's how this you man is traveling. Uh -huh. That's how any relationship should be. Mm -hmm. The less expectations you have, the more you have to gain. Wow. Mm. So I don't necessarily well, believe. I can see your partners. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't. This, this man. I, mean, he's I a, appreciate. He's a frequent flyer, right? I appreciate the way you're you're talking about it. But I got something that is true that you said. That in a relationship, you wouldn't necessarily uh, be giving him condoms unless it's to trapped. use them. That's what you say. Right. Yeah. To use. Because there's some expectation in a relationship mm -hmm. that I am your woman, mm -hmm. you are my man. Mm -hmm. If we're going to use condoms, we use it together. Mm -hmm. uh, together with each other? Let, let's say. <laughs> <laughs> or are we bringing Let's say now you're married. <laughs> because uh, I'm bringing us to this point, Cass. Uh, you're a good woman, you've gotten this good guy. 
and you expect uh, you guys to work on a relationship. Mm -hmm. uh, this is my argument. Mm -hmm. You can't be such liberal in a relationship because if it goes at that to that point, it means even when you're married, mm -hmm. you still expect this guy to cheat on you. See, That's no, why you you're phrasing it you're, all wrong. Hmm? You're phrasing it wrong. Well, I don't expect a, a man to ever cheat on me. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. But then also, um, because I'm a liberal and you're a conservative, we have completely different views of how things should be. Yeah. And should is a word that should not be used. Yes, how things <laughs> are. So, so cheating to you, it's not... You see, cheating is another word I wouldn't use. Oh, boy. Okay, <laughs> you can't, you can't. Let me I'm ask just you. saying, no, let me just, let me say. Go ahead. I don't expect my man mm. to cheat on me. Yeah. But I don't expect him to be faithful. I don't Already. expect that I'm the only woman that he's going to sleep with. Already. Because, mm. to be honest, mm -hmm. we live in a society where men are constantly unfaithful to their women. <laughs> what stupid woman am I expecting my man to be like to okay. be with me for the rest <laughs> of the life? Let me tell you guys, I think you're hanging no, around quench. the wrong people. <laughs> there are some of us who well, we'll still have enough sense as men mm. to be faithful to the woman we've come to. Just because a man is sleeping with another woman, it doesn't mean that he doesn't have sense. Mm. Uh -huh. In my opinion. <laughs> That's your opinion? In my opinion. Okay. It means it doesn't have, because if you give a word to a woman mm -hmm. and you said, I am all yours, mm -hmm. then I expect that to happen. I expect that to happen. Okay. Otherwise, we would never have any institution, right. and not even institution of marriage. We would never have any relationships going. All right, let's, everybody let's, go, back, let's go back to the topic oh. of carrying a condom. Mm -hmm. okay. Have you experiences of you whipping out a condom or somebody seeing a condom in your bag and... They do a double take. Yeah, no, question. No, that's never happened. Yeah. yeah. Chicks or Because it's always, guys. like, it always... It, Sorry. You know, it, n never at all. No, no. It's, I've never been in a situation where there's my partner or somebody that I'm, uh, mm. that I'm about to hook up with yes. is like, oh, so you carry condoms. Like, what kind of a girl are you? Yeah. I've never been in a situation like that. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but bam! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do they make? <laughs> Does that answer your question, Quatch? Uh, I love what you say, where we are in society today. And I think for me, that's where I come from. We've gotten to a point where relationships almost don't make sense, in my opinion, uh, because of the way people are behaving, because of our behaviors. Uh, I believe uh, the, the, the foundation of a relationship is to know that I could have this woman and I could trust her, and she could have me and I could trust. Uh, the, the reality out there, it's not like that. Yeah. And it, we need to look at where did the rain start? Between? In the reality, yes. Yeah. So it is true, more and more girls and more and more guys are carrying condoms. Mm. But it's not, uh, it's not to show that they're immoral. Mm. It's just that they're being careful. They really are being careful. Mm. And there's nothing Some wrong man. with Madam packing condoms for <laughs> said gentleman. I knew it had to come back to you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but you're saying you wouldn't condone that. What? How come you haven't talked about it? Da yeah, the, the, you, it's, you it's still it's have it, your double standards, I want to find out, if the, if the roles were reversed, the, yeah. would you pack me condoms because I travel frequently? Never, yeah, ever. If, God forbid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if we went home together. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree. God forbid. <laughs> God forbid. Um, and then I whip out a condom. Yeah. First of all, between the time that we've known each other, mm. It's been how long before I've come home with you and we've No, Leo, 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 Leo. So we meet today, yes. we hang, and I come yes. home with you. Yes. I don't even need to whip out a condom for you to mm. know that I've... Mm. <laughs> the condom is not the, the proof. Yes. I mean, my being with you yeah. and having met you in the same night yeah. is proof enough. Yes. I love that. Okay, love what, that. What, what if it's uh, date night number four? Date number four, like mm. dinner on the first, mm. then dinner on the mm. second mm. movie, mm. on the mm. third, mm. we mm. kissed, mm. maybe, and then... Mm. Oh, and that's cool. Mm. That's cool. <laughs> I mean, it's cool either way. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah? Yeah, yeah. I'm not discriminating against yeah. one night stand. Right, right. But um, I think it's still cool that if you're on the fourth date and she's, she's carrying condoms, she probably was carrying them before your first date. Exactly. Yeah. 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 But you see, but that makes me think that surely, I mean, uh, is it. Do you really? Is this really your personal opinion? If is a woman whips out a condom, you, ha you double take. Uh, you, a man sure. of today. Yeah, uh, yep. This conversation for me was kind of weird because it's mm. like, shouldn't it be normal that mm, women should mm, carry condoms mm, in their mm, bags? Mm, mm. It's not a conversation that comes up. It's mm. just a thing that we do. But No, but Kaz already said that uh, yeah. when the experiences that she's had with guys. I didn't say that... anything about the experiences I've had with guys. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> uh -huh. Your point is, 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 that, is that when she was the condom, yeah, the guys are like, oh, cool. There's never been that one of doing the real, you know, the double tick.
Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. but I mean, but the majority uh, when you when you speak to your pals, have they had experiences of like what I chumad this thing and then that girl's like no never because we we are such a different breed of mm. Kenyans, mm. Um, and we're very open and we're a very like young and growing sexual Kenyan, mm. you know, mm. and people are more open about talking about mm. sex. Mm. People are open about having sex mm. with more than one partner. Yes. Mm. So these things are not shocking. Yes. Mm. I mean, if I whip out, if you don't have a condom, because I'll ask you, A, are mm. you carrying? If you don't, yes. there are supermarkets and gas stations that are open 24-7 oh. in a neighborhood near you. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> and also there's control. I mean, this guy okay, is I'm not, not sure just about like, that. he yes. can't <laughs> <see>. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Me, I, no, I just know that there's gas stations. Yeah. 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 Or right, let me <laughs> tell you, let me add to your list. Yeah. There's also control. This yeah. guy uh, can wait until tomorrow. He's not going to die. Yeah. He can wait until next week. Yeah. Uh, I think for me, Ian, again, uh, what I'm saying, this is as uh, a pointer to relationships. I'll go back to relationships because before, and it, if it's outside relationships, it's another matter. But within relationships, for us to have conversations like these and ideas like quatches, uh, I think we're in a crisis. Pastor S, I just want to say, ask a really, really short question. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Before you're a pastor, mm -hmm. you're a man. Yeah. A man has needs. Mm -hmm. So this situation where you're in the house and mm -hmm. you have nothing, mm -hmm. I mean, you know, as mm -hmm. a man, Mm. with needs, yeah. that control is the last thing on your mind. No, by the way, I, I have lived a life of control. I really believe for me, uh, to be human beings, we cannot be uh, controlled by desire. We should control desire. We're running out of time. Final words. As a man, I think it's still, I still insist that if you find a woman that has uh, got a condom, apu yuko na matatizo yuko kitu. By the way, please. Be cautious about those ones, but also most guys ideally would like to be in a scenario where the condom does not exist at all. Thank you. Pastor S? I would say that we need to think about our relationships and what kind of a people we are becoming, especially because we're the same people who are going to be getting into marriage and into uh, parenting. And the foundation we're laying right now is important when that time comes. Let's take control of our desires and let's be responsible as men and as women. Thank you. Kaz? Um, I think it's very important to guard your reputation. And I think that should be on the forefront of a lot of things. But second to that, I think it's very important to guard yourself, to be healthy, to be safe, um, to be careful. Because you never know, there's so many strange men, so many strange diseases, so many strange things in this world that, that happen. So just, I think safety should be primary in everything you do. Thank you. Lovely having you with us. Lovely um, being here. You might need that. Yeah? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Quatch is there. <laughs> well, if you can't be good, be careful. If you can't be careful. If you can't be careful. <laughs> the decision is up to you. It's really in your hands. At least you have all the views. But the decision has to be yours. And with that point, Kwaherini.